Hello everybody, welcome back to Kempo Tutorial channel and today I'm going to continue my part 2 that I have bring a profile name and I have scared it from the CS letter and put it into the dictionary so now I'm going to extract the number of posts and the followers and the following as you can see here I have inspect element here and we can see the followers is 1m but the attribute title it have shown exact number and you can go to a the section post and you can see here all of this are inside the same elements li's element extreme I'll take okay I call up it you can see it in the ul it has li each li is containing the information that we want to uh, scrap so now um, find out the class in a span tag you see there in the ui ul class here you can see the class is so crazy class okay now <coughs> sorry I'm going to copy that class the ul class you you must copy exactly class have a white space or something like that so I'm going to write a CS selector by get from a ul xtml tag As you can see there, and I'm going to a uh, the next one. The next children is a span class, so I just copy that. Span because inside it you really have a span span class class. Okay, now I copy this uh, class and paste it inside the, the style to check it uh, if it's my class is right perfectly. I mean that CS selector that I have done is correct. As you can see there, I, I can change background color. You can change anything, color or something like that. So I'm going to paste those class inside here. Okay. By find the elements, it's returning the collection of uh, interface I web elements. So I will store it into the collection. I put it into the list. Okay, now I copy the key and value in here. So I'm going to get a, a, a post number inside it. Inside it, they have LIs. So the first index, because it will return a three, three elements. So I'm get the first element and get get the raw text inside that and put a different key you have post follower uh, following okay but in the follower i don't want to get a text 1m but i want the the attribute title the value of attribute title so I'm going to change that and get attribute put the attribute name is title okay so remove the text property so this will return the value of attribute okay 
let's see I'm going to get uh, the biography okay I'm going to choose one of these so in the main class the main wrapper is in this class so I just copy this class the description and I'm going to find element I just put a CS selector because the selector is easier than XPath uh, it's up to you if you familiar with the XPath you can use XPath but I'm in this case I'm using a CS selector and now I'm going to uh, extract the URL the URL of the image the profile okay I'm going to copy this class because due this due attribute is uh, is the main wrapper the of the image so just get that first and then the children is image tag so to specify it specifically you can uh, put the class name to get only the source so get attribute as OC okay just close the driver because after I'm get the information that I want I want to close it I don't want it to run in the background so now what I'm going to do in button scrap click event I'm going to show it in okay I can use a for loop and switch inside it that is so so crazy it is so crazy mental to do but I just uh, give some idea to a to show you you all of this how it's work okay and just change the key because I'm loop through the key so I just switch switch in case key that I the following key I want to show and want to put it inside the text text label uh, image by this following I'm going to pass the value that I have extract from the HTML to each control label like profile name, post, follower and following and description and the picture box that I'm going to load the URL inside it load URL and display so now let's run this okay now I'm going to copy the URL profile and paste in here okay it's now it processing just wait a moment is depend on your internet connection and the external DOM that you have load load file. Okay, let's do it again. Okay, now you can see that. That's why it's then close this. This command prompt 
as you can see here we have a pills following pills and follower and following so now let's change to the other one profile let's copy that and scrap I don't know why it's not closing this Pentom JS Deacon Soul. I'm going to check it, but now focusing on what the result that we want. As you can see, that the username, the post number. Okay, I'm just putting one more line is driver quick. So it's going to a quick that console. As you can see here, it's been running here in its task nature. Okay, now it's close and after we scrap it completely. Now thank you for watching this video. If you like my scrapping tutorial and if you want more tutorial scrapping about PHP or Java or something else, just hit the button subscribe.